Good question here. Would you want your daughter to date a version of yourself or your co-host? That was mine. It was, oh, you <laughs> see, you want to take credit when I say it's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I would have said it anyway. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I would have to sit my daughter down and tell her, do you want a man that has money? And most girls do, and I would tell her, good. You're going to have to deal with money problems, and that man's going to have other women. Sorry, that's just how it is. Mm. Dudes that have money, make the money to not yeah. tolerate your bullshit, and they make it to have uh, op options of women. And as long as you're the main girl, you have the last name, you have the title, you have the ring, and don't make his life hard. Wow. You would say it just like that? I would say just like that. Oh because because <laughs> the thing is, is that, um, yeah, be, because you don't understand that you guys are kind of annoying. I'll be honest with y'all. You fine. guys are kind of and men and women already don't have a lot of similarities. So men already have to go out into the world and work really hard and build themselves up. So you're going to tell a man that is successful, worked really hard to attain his status and his income and his wealth. You're going to tell him how to spend, uh, you know, the things that he worked hard for when you got your sexual market value for free. You didn't build your, you had to build his. So you can't tell a man how to use, um, spend his value. Can like, I ask a question based off of that? Uh, yeah, sure. But so, that's why I'll tell my daughter if she wanted a guy that was successful. And right. then I would also warn her, you can get with a brokey, he's probably going to cheat with you too. Okay. So you might as well get with a guy that has money. So why wouldn't you want to sit your daughter down and say, hey, instead of having to rely on a man out of necessity, you're with a man because you want to be with him. Yeah. Like, I say this, I get what you're saying, and I always see the truth in some of the points that you guys point out. But wouldn't you rather want a female want to be with you because they want to, because they love you, and they don't need you. They can get well, up and well, leave whenever. Well, your question whenever. is flawed, and I'll tell you why. Um, the problem is that Whenever women only want you, they're not going to do what's required to keep you. Does that make sense? Ooh. I so, think that you can be, you can fulfill their necessities in other ways, but I'm just saying a lot of what no. you're saying, oh, he has the money, he has this. Well, what if I come to the table with just as much? Women, but, but, see, uh, yeah, the, the women need to, is... like, for a, a relationship to work, the woman needs the man. Like, whenever girls have this boss mentality that you kind of have where it's like, I just want a man, but it's not a necessity, what ends up happening is... You think the grass is green on the other side. You think you could find a better guy. You think I can do better, etc. And what ends up happening when women have options is they turn out to make really bad decisions. And they'll go ahead and get with a guy that's very attractive. They'll go ahead and get with a guy that has money. Or they'll go ahead and get with a guy that they think is a better deal or whatever. Because they're like, I deserve more because they make their own money and they base their value off their money. And what they don't realize is he's going to do the same shit the other guy did. Um, and women really don't behave and they're not in line when they only want you. They need to need you for it to actually work. But I, I think more so, too, Please. what you have to realize is that guys and girls look for completely separate things. So, like, you are you are everything that you look for in a guy, <laughs> but you have That's to fine. understand that that guy is probably looking for something completely different. Bam. Yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I would not I, 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 I was no, 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 no. I could touch it. No, yeah. No, I hear what you're saying. But George is 100% right. Yeah. Like, I get that it's harder to date when you're like in a position of like wanting to have power and like wanting to be independent. But I do think that it's important as a dad eventually one day, don't you want to tell your daughter that she doesn't need to be there? That she No, I'm going to warn her and I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her, go to school, go ahead and pursue your education, etc. But. You are probably going to shoot yourself in the foot if you aspire to really make money and be a go-getter. I, I had this, this discussion with That's my crazy. sister a couple years ago because women don't like to hear the truth. She was going to med school. She was going to be a doctor soon. She was about 27, 28. Wait, medical? Yeah, yeah, med school. She, to be a doctor, not a nurse. But, um, and I warned her. I told her, you better fucking find a guy now when you're still in your 20s because I promise you when you hit your 30s, you're not going to be able to pull the same guy and you're going to make money and it's just going to be worse for you. So pull a guy now while you fucking can. You better start looking around your med school, whatever, because your value is infinite. And she found a guy, I think he's an anesthesiologist, and they worked it out. Good. But had I not had that really tough conversation with her and told her, stop being a and find a man now because she's hard-headed like these other... Bo yeah, bro, I don't give a fuck. Like, you, I have to be very blunt with her and let her know. Like, stop being the... Because uh, you're... You don't know what you're talking like. You don't know what you're doing. You need to find a man now, and you still have the value to do it. Yeah. Because when you get older, you're gonna come back around to me. <laughs> no, fucking get a guy now when you still have the ability to do so. And she found him. But I had to give her that tough love and let her know no one wants a fucking boss, babe. So find a guy now. Hold on, you said. I don't want to say no. I wouldn't say Hold no. On. You said the bitch. Some yeah. Like, so stop being a. Find a man now. <laughs> I'm illegal. I'm illegal. Talk to my brother like well, that. What you say? Like, you think any, yeah. every man doesn't want a ball fish? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I think what, what it boils down to is yeah, let's think of reckless. we have a saying in, in uh, economics that there are, there are no solutions, there are only trade-offs. So it, what I would do is sit down 
and tell this this guy, I'd say, look, you got to realize that you're, there's trade-offs here. George, nice and to And if me. you want to pursue, uh, you know, excellence, if you want to pursue success, pursue money, that's great. Go ahead and do that. But realize if you do, you're limiting the pool of guys that not will be attracted to you, but that you'll be attracted to. Right. See that, that. But if you accept that, I'd rather take the cons of having a smaller pool than being taking yeah. the cons of re- having and, and to then, go throughout life relying on men. Right, but then, but then, what I also yeah. say is that you have to realize that what you want right now is going to be completely different sure. than what you want at thirty and thirty-five. For guys, that usually doesn't change. You know, we're and when we're fifteen years old, we got the poster of the Lamborghini on the on the wall, and that's pretty <laughs> much what we strive yeah. for yeah. for the rest of our lives. But with women, what they want at, let's say, 25, you know, like I said, I've had thousands of people work for me, most of them women. And I cannot tell you how many women, you know, professional, very high earners, very high IQ, when they were in their late 20s, early 30s, that I'm never going to have kids, never going to have kids. I don't want kids. It would be a burden. And every single one of them, by the time they're 35, they're freaking out trying to find any guy that they possibly can <laughs> oh, to have shit. a kid. I mean, it just it just switches overnight. Mm. It's absolutely unbelievable. So I try to be as honest with her as I possibly could on the realities of life, the realities of human hardwiring, and then just let her make her own decisions. You know what I would but do? Try to prepare her as well as I can. Right. I would sit her down, turn TV on. Then for your daughter, right? Yeah. Listen, what fresh and fit? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. What? No, I mean, I mean, obviously, I know the delivery might be a little offensive to you guys, but you have to. What, what I've no, and obviously is my sister, so I could be a little bit more direct and blunt with her. But a lot of times, when you when you're polarizing and you give it in a very direct, concise, even rude manner, they'll at least remember and, and they'll stick with them. Damn, maybe I am being an idiot and I need to kind of readjust where I'm going here. Um, but I genuinely believe that. Girls, if for a woman to truly love and admire and respect you, she must feel like she needs you versus only wants. Because if you only want something, you're not going to do everything required to get it, right? If I know, um, if I need oxygen, right, I'm going to make sure that I'm fucking not underwater and putting myself in a situation where I, where, where I can't breathe, right? If you need it, you're going to do everything required to get it. But when you only want it, eh, I don't feel like it today, right? Oh, I don't, I, oh, uh, I only like, I only want you and as my man, what? so I don't feel like cooking and cleaning today. It's like when you breathe air, you need it versus you want it. And then you also got to ask yourself, why do girls only want a relationship nine out of ten times? But Typically, it's for social proof, to have a boyfriend come with them on the parties or whatever. But they're not doing everything required to actually keep that we're guy because they don't feel like they need We're constantly living under him. that guideline, though, of we, you don't need us. You just want us. Yeah, we us. don't. Yeah, we don't. So that's what I'm saying. So when you flip this, you know, the scripts, but here's, saying, here's the difference. You're attracted to it when we only want you. It doesn't work the other way around. W- women want a man that they're constantly chasing. Doesn't work the other way. Women want to feel like they have the best deal. So for them to feel like they have the best deal, they need to need they they need to need the man while the man only wants them. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't need yeah, a man. The only that thing needs that me. throws me is I just would think that you would want for your daughter to be able to provide for herself regardless of who is in the situation or not. Yeah, well, I That's think I think he thing. would. It's just a matter of just going back to honesty. Yeah. So she doesn't believe something that is uh, fantasyful. Or some sort of oh, she doesn't believe something that's a dream, and something that has no attachment to reality whatsoever. So, as an example, let's say, how old are you again? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. So, how much do you want to be making by the time you're thirty? I want to be a multi-billionaire by the time I'm thirty. Okay. Shit. So, let's just say Shit. that you're making a million dollars a year by the time you're thirty. Okay. Okay. So, what age range would you be comfortable dating when you're thirty? Just based on. In my forties. In the forties. Okay, so maybe 10 years older? Yeah. Okay, so then you got to say, how many guys in Miami are making over a million dollars Miami, a year? I can't do the dating in Miami, but... But, but you see I'm, yeah. where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> yeah. Wherever you're living, assuming that you wanted to date a guy within, mm-hmm. you know, 5, 10 miles or something like that, right. you have to say, okay, how many guys in this area are straight? How many mm-hmm. are single? How many... Uh, you oh, know, yeah, it makes the pool a lot. Li- I already know I'm going to struggle. I can already <laughs> truthfully say that, that. That's what I'm but saying. But I'm saying I'd rather those, those cons of struggling than 
yeah. not building this lifestyle for myself. Yep, yeah, and as long as you understand that exactly. going into it, yes. more power to you. The problem with the educational system right now is they tell the girls that they can have everything. Yeah. And they don't they don't tell them that they are limiting their pool and they tell them that yes, you're going to be making a million dollars a year and you'll be totally happy dating a guy that's making 50 grand a year. <laughs> Absolutely. That's true. And that or you is, build them up. They tell them that you can build them up, too. That's the other thing that lie well, they tell women is you can yeah, build you a man won't. up. Especially yeah. at a young age, like yeah. yourself. Yeah, it's, it's zero money. Yeah. No, no, no. Look, man, uh, I, I always say, you want to go to school, you want to make money, you want to be successful, cool, but are you prepared to deal with the consequences? Yeah, and that, those consequences are more than likely, extremely high likelihood, you're going to stay single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the very men that meet your requirements, don't want you back in return. Mm. They want younger, hotter girls. Yeah.